My name is Adam Angievsky, and I'm the founder and CEO of OpenTheBooks.com. And you know our mission. It's every dime online in real time. And not only do we open the books, you know, we filed 47,000 Freedom of Information Act requests last year. We captured nearly every dime taxed and spent at every level. We open the books, we audit them, the audits make national news. And that's the subject today of an oversight investigation that we broke on 190 ABC, NBC, and CBS and Fox affiliate TV stations across the country owned by the Sinclair Broadcast Group. So before we get to this topic, and it's a real doozy, as they all are, I just want to introduce my co-host, Tamara Colbert. Hey, Tamara. Good evening, Adam. Well, this is a doozy, all right. It's a jaw, another jaw dropper here. So what is going on with Open the Book's newest investigation? So members of Congress, they love to travel. A couple of years ago, we did an oversight report called Membership Has Its Privileges. And in that report, we detailed that over an 11 year period, members of Congress took 16,300 trips, costing tens of millions of dollars in taxpayer money. This time our investigation went to the other way, members of Congress and their staff travel. And it's through travel paid for by third parties, by sponsors. And we studied a, the most recent five year period. And here's what we found. 8,000 trips for members of Congress or their staffers. Now, Tamara, there's a public purpose to having a third party organization and not the taxpayer pay for a member's trip. That member gets to learn. They get to learn about, say, one of the most popular destinations is Paris, France, or Berlin, Germany, or Brussels, or Israel, you know, but they get to learn about the world. Okay, granted. But here's what we found this time. Five globalist nonprofits who in the five-year period sponsored over 900 trips for members of Congress or their staff. Those five nonprofits received in federal grant making, taxpayer money, $102 million. And this is an unholy alliance. These are five nonprofits sponsoring tons of travel for Congress and receiving $102 million over the same period. So Adam, give us an example. When you talk about travel, I know you mentioned Berlin and Paris, but what does that have to do with the US? <laughs> so, so look, you know, we're a world power and our right. members, are, you know, we do a lot of foreign aid. We detailed that last fall in our US foreign aid report, right? So if US foreign aid were compared up against our federal aid to the 50 states, it would rank third. Only California and New York receive more federal aid than what we spend every year, about $50 billion on U.S. foreign aid. So if we're spending that kind of money, we got to educate these people on what's going on in the world. And so these third-party sponsors are sponsoring trips all over the world and domestically for members and their staffers. The last so time I five, checked, though, Paris, France wasn't a third world country. <laughs> just, just, right? So here, here's an example of a trip. Okay. The UN Foundation. Now, who knew that the United Nations actually spun off a foundation, a U.S. IRS approved 501c3 public charity? But they did. And U.S. taxpayers in a five-year period put $11 million into the U.N. Foundation. Each year, we put about $10 billion into the U.N. itself, mm -hmm. into their 58 affiliate agencies. At OpenTheBooks.com, we've broken that number. It's a very difficult number to get to. So the U.N. spins out a foundation. We fund it to the tune of $11 million more dollars. And the U.N. turns around and they provide trips to members of Congress or their staffers 200 and 275 times. So here's an example. They fly a Democratic representative, Gonzalez, over to Amman, Jordan, and over to Beirut, Lebanon. He doesn't fly coach. He brings his wife. They pay for her trip too. They, they fly business class, not coach. And when they're in Amman, Jordan, they stay in the four seasons. The total trip costs $20,300. That's unbelievable. So 
out of all these trips, can you share, we've got people asking, remind us how many trips were paid for the, by the sponsors and, and do we know the nonprofits that have given the money? Yeah, there's a, well, it's also for profits. Like for instance, Microsoft. In a five-year period, Microsoft got a couple of billion dollars in federal contracting. They flew 65 members, their staffers, out to headquarters in the state of Washington to educate them on Microsoft, right? So they're paying for the staffers' travel, key staffers, bringing them to headquarters and educating them on all things Microsoft. Um, so you have for-profit companies doing this as well, do, doing this as well. But the non-for-profits, for instance, like the Aspen Institute, in a five-year period, they got nearly $40 million in federal grant making. That's our money. The Aspen Institute is definitely progressive. They're one of the premier progressive organizations in the world. And they sponsored, the Aspen Institute actually sponsored uh, 379 trips for members and their staffers. That's unbelievable. So um, we have a couple of people asking where they can go to find this information. And we're gonna post this right underneath this Facebook Live momentarily. Adam, tell us what we can do. I mean, this just sounds like I can't afford to go to Paris. I can't afford to go to any of these places. So they're using taxpayer dollars to fund these trips. Um, what do we do? So uh, I want to be very clear. So this is third party sponsored travel for members of Congress and their staff. Technically, they're going to say it's not taxpayer dollars. But when you're getting $102 million in taxpayer federal grants out of Congress, you're turning around and sponsoring 925 trips for members and their staff. Uh, Tamara, like Dr. Tom Coburn, the former U.S. Senator from Oklahoma, our former honorary chairman at OpenTheBooks.com, may he rest in peace, he used to say, Adam, I know the definition of the word fungible. Exactly. And he always flew Southwest in the back of the bus, um, very frugal. What can we do now? What do you want our viewers to do with this information? Besides read it, how can they act? So if you have the story streamed to our waste of the day, you can read our investigation right at Real Clear Policy, where every single day we put up a very compelling waste of the day. Or you can come to our website at openthebooks.com. It's right on our homepage. Absolutely. So, Phil, I know you're asking for all these details. They are in that article. And you can always go, I recommend openthebooks.com, where you're not only going to be able to see this article, but so much more that's going to give you an idea, Adam, what they can really do to help uh, get us a transparency revolution. Absolutely. Yeah, just come to openthebooks.com, uh, review the study right there. We also have a video that played on the 190 ABC, NBC, and CBS and Fox affiliates across the country, the news report. And we need to bring the heat so Congress sees the light. Tamara, here's the simple reform. If you are an entity receiving federal funds, I don't care if it's grants, contracts, loans, direct payments. If you're dialed into the U.S. taxpayer through the federal checkbook, the reform is you can't pay for congressional travel, period. That's it. That's good enough for me. You can join us every Thursday afternoon at 440 Central Time, 540 Eastern Time for another rip off of the week. Until then, have a great evening, everybody.